Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the ice maker fill tube in this KitchenAid refrigerator, you will need a quarter inch nut driver, a small flathead screwdriver, and a 7 16 inch wrench. Before you begin the procedure, unplug the appliance's power cord and shut off the home's water supply line valve. Open the water filter cover and remove the water filter. Use the quarter inch nut driver to unthread the two screws securing the upper cover panel. Detach the panel and disconnect the LED light wire harness to fully remove the panel. Use the small flathead screwdriver to release the retaining tabs to detach the ice box cover. Disconnect the heater wire connector to fully remove the cover. Using the quarter inch nut driver, unthread the two screws securing the ice box. Disconnect the main ice box wire connector, as well as the ice maker and heater wire connectors. Use the small flathead screwdriver to pry the waterline retaining bracket free. Using the 7 16 inch wrench, depress the retaining ring to release the ice maker fill tube from the dual water valve. You can now pull the ice box forward to remove. Use the quarter inch nut driver to unthread the five screws securing the ice maker cover. Peel the fill tube heater off of the old fill tube. Lift the rear of the cover up and pull back to detach. Now push the fill tube grommet out of the cover and pull out the old tube. To install the new ice maker fill tube, feed the tube through the hole in the cover and press the grommet into place. Reposition the cover by aligning the front edge first. Align and adhere the fill tube heater to the new fill tube. Rethread the five screws to secure the ice maker cover.
Reinstall the ice box by aligning the four retaining hooks with the notches in the upper liner and push the box straight back. Rethread the two screws to secure. Fully insert the ice maker fill tube into the dual valve port and secure the line in the retainer. Reposition the waterline retaining bracket. Reconnect the ice maker and heater wire connectors, as well as the main ice box wire connector. Reconnect the ice box cover heater wire connector, then align the top edge of the cover and snap the bottom of the cover into place. Reinstall the upper cover panel by first reconnecting the LED light wire harness. Align the three rear upper cover panel tabs with the housing brackets and snap the panel into position. Rethread the two screws to secure. Reinsert the water filter into the housing and close the cover. Open the home's water supply line valve. Plug the appliance's power cord back in and the refrigerator should be ready for use.